Beardo Benjo. A good friend of mine sent me a link to a game that he thought I should play last night. I really wanted to play it last night, but I was a sleepy boy and I had work this morning. But now, I have a day off tomorrow. It's quite late here in the UK, but I don't care. I'm going to play it anyway because I'm excited and it looks like it's going to be a bloody good time. The game I'm playing is this. How fucking cool is that? That's right people, this is called the Haunted PS1 Demo Disc. Instantly I'm sure you'll recognize the kind of aesthetic. If you had a PlayStation 1 back in the day, original PlayStation, you'll remember getting demo discs that looked just like this, sounded just like this. Now from my understanding this is a compilation of sorts of indie horror game developers that have kind of come together and made this crazy haunted lost PS1 demo disc for us all to play now on PC. Now obviously it isn't actually a haunted PS1 demo disc, that would be amazing, but it is presented in such a way, I, I honestly I remember having demo discs that look like this with the kind of weird moving background, even this kind of music and just this kind of aesthetic. Every game has got a kind of a box art and a title and then when you click on them to go in, so I'll go back to the start, you click on them to go in, you get a bit of information about the game, a colourful horror game about a haunted ramen mascot. You can play it, credits, who it's made by and who you need to follow basically. So it's a lot of different developers this. I can't credit one person for making this because it's a bunch of people. Um, I'm going to do a few videos about this. I'm going to get through all these games. There are tons. I think there's something like 12 of them on here. Jesus! There we go. About 12 of them on there. I'm going to do these in uncut episodes. I'm going to try not to cut anything out. So if I screw up, oh well, it's in there forever. I made a boo-boo. Um, so I'm just going to do this kind of clean, uncut. No jumping around, no editing really. Just play it one straight go. I'm going to try and do three of these games per video. And I want to cover all 12. I think it's 12. All 12 of them in the fullness of time. Now, today I'm going to start off on a, on a, on a lighter note. I say that. I'm going to take... Tasty Ramen, because I'm excited in that. I'm going to play Tasty Ramen. I'm going to play... Uh, oh, I'm tempted by Erasure. I'm tempted by Killer Bees. Sauna. I'm going to play Tasty Ramen. Sauna 2000, because I'm curious. And I'm going to play... Ooh. That's got a real Silent Hill vibe. Filth Breed, Tasty Ramen, Sauna 2000, Filth Breed. That's what I'm doing today. Um, I'm not reviewing these, I'm just playing them. That looked a bit like Ico. I like the artwork for Ico or Shadow of the Colossus. I'm getting distracted. I'm not going to review these, I'm just going to play them, show them to you, and just drop them out in episodes with kind of three of these games per episode. This is available on Itch.io. It went up last night, I believe, so it's still fairly new. Um, but as always, you can download it for free, or you can make a donation to the creators to kind of support their work and kind of say that, you know what, I appreciate what you're doing, you're doing a good job. Go forth and make something even bigger, bigger budget, all that kind of thing. So yeah you can support these people there's a lot of people involved in this so you know any donation will go i'm assuming will be split but i could be wrong but yeah i'm excited to jump in i appreciate the aesthetic i, I love this little eyeball cursor it reminds me a lot of like never soft the old tony hawk games um and i'm gonna start right now with tasty ramen play okay it kind of almost opens up like a separate game Tasty Ramen Hot Horror Flavor. My favorite flavor ramen is Hot Horror. There he is, cute little mascot, got some egg in his head. I think these are all keyboard and mouse. I don't know what the controls are for anything. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, welcome to the special gameplay demo version of Tasty Ramen. Just a quick expl explanation. Just a quick explanation before we can start. Uh, you can grab items by pressing E. Uh, you can place them again by pressing E again. Pressing the left mouse button makes you throw them. But remember, thrown items might make noises when they hit the ground. Is this a stealth game? I hope it's not a stealth game. Uh, one last thing. If you get tired of the game, escape lets you leave right away. That's it. Let's go. Ha! I fucking love the aesthetic. 
Uh, you'd like thoroughly believe that this is a original PlayStation game. Look at it. Although I'd probably say this looks a little, a little jankier, a little ropier than an original PlayStation game. I'd probably say original PlayStation looks a little bit better than this. I remember playing, um, was it Alien? Alien Resurrection or Alien Trilogy, I think it was on PlayStation. That was a first-person game, and it looked it probably looked better than this. But this looks great. Great art style. Okay, so I'm guessing the what you're supposed to do here is put these in this door. There's already a key here in the door. I think this is a key, and I guess I put it in the door. Oh, maybe I don't. Okay, E does not work. If I throw it at the door. Oh, cool. Okay, so you throw... Oh, hello. Like a half eaten M and M running around. Seems simple enough. It looks like there's, you know, there's gonna be some keys. We put them in here. He must be the haunted mascot. Can I pick everything up? Can't pick that up. Can I pick this up? Oh, I can pick stuff up. Look at him go. Oh! Ah. Okay, so don't don't throw ramen at him because he's he's pissed. Uh, okay, I'm dead. All right, so you can't get caught by the the ramen pot, dude. All right, okay, make, kind of makes sense. I guess I need to get the keys and avoid that little guy because he's angry as all hell for no real reason. Uh, okay, cool. Well, now I don't want to go over here because he's just going to come along and oh massacre me. Fuck. Oh. Oh, there's a key. Thank you. I'll have that. I don't know how long any of these games are. Oh, shit. Ah, you little shit. I think they're... Um, there's another one. I think they're all going to be fairly short. I mean, there's so many of them on this compilation. Um, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> Look at him go. I need some more keys, guys. I need some more keys. Ah. Is he just patrolling back and forth on that same route? If so, that's kind of easy. Eee! He's not fussed. Where are the keys, though? Oh, shit! <laughs> I'd never be thought I'd be afraid of a little ramen pot. Oh, God. Okay. Look in the door. A great idea, this, kind of presenting these Ichio horror games as like a compilation of, of games for a, for like a demo disc. It's fucking brilliant. Stroke of absolute genius. Key, 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 key. Where is he? Oh, fuck. No. No, this is the last key! No! Did I win? I assume I escaped. I am not sure. What's this? Alright, okay. I can pick them up. I can stack them. That's nice. Let's do some stacking. Big fan of stacking me. There we go. Get them on there. That's nice. Look at that. Ah, that one wasn't so nice. Good, like, physics and stuff. I know it's a weird thing to say, but no, like, it's, it's nicely made. Look at that. I know some AAA games that don't let you kind of do that kind of thing. So, yeah, props to, props to them. Hello, sir. How are you? I've just been chased by a small pot of ramen. Ha 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 ha. You did it. Very impressive. It's not that impressive. It took me one attempt. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay demo. I did. You know, if you want to catch up with the latest development, just go here. Sactro.itch.io. Okay, cool. So, I guess at the end of each... Well, especially this game, they have an opportunity to kind of um, present themselves if they're the creators. Um, Sactrio. I think that's Sayak. Sayactro. Sactro. Okay, time for some credits. This is a game by Marcus Horn. Congrats, Marcus Horn. I enjoyed this. This was great. Very short, but very cool. Uh, music by Tycho Drums. Uh, by Joe Bro, sorry. Oh, I missed someone. Okay, I won't read all the credits because I'm going to miss people and that's not great. Uh, it's made by very talented people who appreciate uh, your time, so please go download this. Is this it? Oh my god, he's going to talk to me again. Oh!
Tasty Ramen. That one's done. Not so much a horror game, that one. That one was kind of chill. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But was was cool. Great aesthetic. Really did remind me of an old school game. Probably older than PS1, though, I'd say. Um, but still felt authentically retro. Uh, what else was I doing today? Uh, I can't remember. Sauna. I'm all about sauna. That sounds great. Sauna warming simulator. It's a simulator, so that's kind of right on the street. I just play simulators all the time. Uh, feel Finland. Finland feels you. I don't really want to be felt by Finland. I'm sure it's a lovely place. I've never been, but... I like this little demo that plays here as well. This kind of like... Because it's so authentic. The only PlayStation demo disc I really remember was... Oh, this one's got like a... Wants me to play in a separate thing. Okay. The only PlayStation demo disc I really remember was the one with the T-Rex and the Manta Ray. Um, and you could just like... I used to play it for hours. Get the T-Rex, move him forward, make him roar, spin him upside down and... Pointless, but fantastic. Okay. Chop wood, carry water from lake to sauna, warm the sauna, heat the bathing water, other things I did. Have to warm the sauna before sunset. Where is my act? I absolutely adore this art style. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. It's... It's fucking mesmerising. It looks kind of purposefully shit, but fantastic at the same time. There's my axe. That was, that was, that was easy. Got to chop a couple of logs for firewood. I love this. Again, it's kind of like... Like, there were games to this kind of visual quality on PlayStation 1, but... What's going on with the floor? Fucking hell. Oh, that's trippy. It's like a magic eye puzzle. But it looks kind of more low poly and more kind of like vector graphics than than any game on the PlayStation ever did. Oh, I can swing my axe. Oh, hello. Exactly what he said. I'm not. I was going to try and attempt to say it then, but that would have been terrible. I can't believe it. I cannot say that. The first bit's got a great roll. I like it. Oh, wood chopping master. I told you I'm fucking good at simulator games, man. Is there a wood chopping simulator? I think I'd be quite good at that. Demo version. Thanks for reminding me. Got to collect the wood into the carrier. Is that this thing here? Ah, yes. I love this. I love this so much. What? Some kind of demon noises. Not a fan of demon noises. But that's beautiful. That's what I mean about, like, it's beautiful in, like, a low-poly, super basic way. And I respect it. I, I, I like the way... Shush your mouth about the sauna. I, I, I like it. I really like the art style. What I'm hoping for from this kind of collection of games is that each one's going to have... Um... Can I turn you off? Okay. Each one's going to have, like, a very different art style, I hope. Because this is immediately very different from um, Tasty Ramen. Nice looking sauna. Get up here, have a little sit. Pour some water on the hot coals. Shit. I am in the sauna. Carry water from the pier to the sauna. Uh, with what? This? This? That is clearly a bucket. Oh, there we go. Uh, now water from the end of the pier. Okay, so I'll go and get some water from down here. Um, one of my favourite things, more in terms of films, I used to love getting uh, compilations of like short films. Oh, specifically horror ones, and I've watched some terrible ones. I've watched like the ABCs of Death, and the ABCs of Death is fine, but there's like a, yeah, usually only a couple of good horror shorts within a, a pretty bad bunch. Um, I'm trying to think of some more. 
It was like the I think it was called VHS. And loads of, again, loads of short films presented as like found footage. That kind of stuff, I'm all for it. Um, I'm a big fan of it, to be honest. Because in amongst all of it, you usually find some really good ones. One of my favourites um, is a... Oh. You want more water? Yeah, more water for the bucket, I guess. Um, one of my favourites is a compilation called Tales of Terror. Um, I think I think they're all Korean, but I could be wrong. They might be Korean, uh, Japanese, uh, Chinese. Um... It's basically for like creators of like The Ring, The Grudge, um, Dark Waters, that kind of stuff all kind of came together and made like short films, uh, Asian short films, and there's some incredible, incredible stuff on there. Um, I think the Wicked Sisters uh, YouTube channel, they've put out a couple of videos watching some of them, because they reminded me that that thing even existed. Uh, I, I have it on DVD and I forgot that it was even a thing until I saw they were watching some, uh, watching some of the classics. Um, What was that? Look like Krampus. I promise I've been good this Christmas, Krampus. Or does he come for you if you've been good? I can't remember. Um, yeah, Tales of Terror is fantastic. It's, it's a real mixed bag. Some of it's absolutely mind-shatteringly terrifying. Um, kind of really tropey, typical Asian bendy women and pale faces and that, that kind of stuff. But then lots of it is just hilarious. There's one I always remember called the Backwards Man. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and play this, and I'm, I'm struggling. Ash bucket in the yard. What am I doing? Oh, sorry, I didn't realise I was holding this. I'm holding the ash from the furnace. Okay. Uh, yeah, one of them was called the Backwards Man. I think it was called Backwards Man. Um, and basically, it was about a street, and if you walk home along this particular route when you get home all your clothes are on backwards and that was the tale of terror not very terrifying but hilarious so but yeah i love these kind of like compilations of compilations of things i just think they're great oh hello because you get a real variance of like art styles and, and people's kind of artistic takes sometimes terrible sometimes great it's getting dark yes add wood to the furnace this is super simple. Oh, hello. Uh, it's literally I'm just it's just one mouse button and then wazd. Mate, this sauna is ready. I'm going to have the nicest sauna. Look out across the setting sun. Uh, find matches. I haven't seen anything that resembles matches on my journey, if I'm honest. Uh, the fuck is that? There's matches. The matches? What is happening? What is that? The fuck is going on? Oh my god! I can't see shit! Fuck me! Mate, there is a demon outside. Oh, hello! I think there's things happening. How do, I can't see anything. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Go in. No, shit! The door! He might be inside. Is he inside? I can't tell. I, I cannot see. This was a sauna game about two minutes ago. Ah, oh my... This is fucking nightmare fuel. Where's my car? Do you reckon I can get to my car? Am I outside? Yeah, I am. I can't see anything. Where's my car? Oh, fuck me, there's my car. This is... I'm so confused. This has all of a sudden become an absolute acid trip. I feel like... What? I 
feel like I was talking too much about compilation DVDs. Because I haven't been paying attention. Fuck me. Who made this? And why? No shit. I am fucking bamboozled and my eyes are melting. Alright, can't go back down there. What is that? Hello? Are you in the bath? Hello? What are you playing there? You playing your video games? Wait, is that what? He's. Is he playing a game and controlling me? Is that the? Is that what that's representing? Because when I move, it gets closer to the TV. Is he playing as me? Does this little dude here represent me? The sauna game's gone really abstract all of a sudden. I'm unnerved. I'm exceptionally unnerved. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I'm meant to go now could not tell you what's happening anymore. Hello? What the fuck? Please insert Pray Salvation CD-ROM. Demo over? Part of me hopes it is. Part of me really hopes it isn't. Because that was... Uh, that's the end. What the f fuck just happened? Oh my... Hey, hey, hey. I have no words. Only mumble jumble made up words. Nah, I'm going to move on. I do not know what just happened then. That was insanity. I loved every second of that. <laughs> God, I really hope the next one's... It was, it was this one, yeah. Filth Breed. I really hope this one is a little bit more straightforward. That got abstract real fast. Sorry, I'm really taken aback by how weird that went. Um, okay, what's this one? Filth comes crawling out of the cracks. That sounds nice. Uh, filth breed. Let's let's give it a let's give it a bash. Oh, it's got one of these as well. Oh my god, Sauna 2000. That was insanity. Who made that? Why did you make it? What happened in that game? Is that meant to be the ending? Could I do anything at that point? I really have no idea. Moving on. Filth Breed. This looks really nice. This is full screen. This is the first one that's been completely full screen. Everything else has been kind of like in a little box in the middle, which made it feel very authentic. But uh, this looks like a, quite a lot quite a lot more quality. Quite high quality. Not that the other ones weren't quality, but this one's quite polished, it seems. Uh, would you like to read the tutorial? I'm going to need it. Um, click to advance the slideshow narration. Uh, use the arrow keys to move and the mouse look around. Easy. Once you find a firearm, scroll up on the mouse wheel to draw your gun and click to shoot. Yep, fine. You can't interact with objects in your surroundings if you're ready to open fire. Makes sense. Uh, lower your guard and holster your weapon by scrolling down. Click on objects to interact with them, depending on the prompt shown at the bottom of the screen. Ammo is sparse. There's no health recovery. Don't go in guns blazing. Okay. Homeless shelters all across the state have reported the disappearance of several people in the past few months. Bugger. Investigators are pointing to Michigan truck driver Louis Burton as a prime suspect. Fucking Louis fucking Burton. He's always nicking homeless people. Having a well-documented track record of smuggling cocaine across the border, he is he too is nowhere to be found. Oh, shit. His former partner has confirmed Burton's involvement in the case, but remains adamant that he's not absconding. All right. According to his testimony, Burton's been recruited by a local cult. Of course he has. Of course he has. 
and held captive in an unknown location. While these claims have yet to be verified, a transport truck matching that of the suspect has been located next to a warehouse in the outskirts of Detroit. Nice. Is this the whole game? Higher-ups remain sceptical, but you've been tasked to search the area for any evidence pertaining to the case. Pertaining to the case. All right. Oh. Okay. Now this is what I'm on about. This is this is what I'm saying about why I love compilations. I love the 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 difference in styles and the kind of the unique artistic vision that everyone brings to a compilation project. You're playing one thing one minute and it's bright and colourful and you're being chased by a little ramen man, and then immediately you're playing this, which looks a lot more kind of up to date. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't look like a brand new game, but this is a, this this looks not beyond PS1 era, but it does look slightly better than PS1 era. Um, you were right, Sally. We should never have trusted those crazy fucks. They keep us all down here in the dark, trapped like cattle. We're just animals to them. Some of us are even starting to act the part. There's this Lucas guy who walks on all fours and bites you when you're sleeping. Come on, Lucas. Get it together. I miss you, Sally. I miss going back home. I'm, oh, I miss the gang back home. I miss fucking Brightmoor. I hear them chanting again. It's time. I miss fucking Brightmoor. As in there's a place called Brightmoor and you miss that place or you miss fucking someone called Brightmoor. I'll never know. I'll never know. Uh, I like this one. This one immediately looks really nice. And I like the gun. That that noise is a very uh, PlayStation 1 era noise. It sounds silly, but it is. It reminds me a lot of Silent Hill. The original Silent Hills. Uh, you found an old Glock. Scroll up to equip it and click to shoot. It's like a dog. What is that? Oh! That's so Silent Hill. Flaming Nora. Put your gun away. Okay, so I can't... Yeah, I can't read stuff if my gun's up. But it did tell me that. I took the gun right out of his pocket and the idiot didn't even flinch. If only I'd had the balls to do it before. It's too late for me now. Whoever's reading this, I pray you can make better use of it. Just don't bother aiming for the head. I've seen those freaks last well over a week without it. Oh, I like this one. This is heavy Silent Hill vibe going on and I'm a big old Silent Hill fan. Konami, fucking give me a new Silent Hill game, you absolute cowards. Um, there is rumour actually at the moment that they're working on, on, on two new Silent Hill games. Hey, hello. This is very Resi, Resi Silent Hill-esque. The noises, the way it kind of shows you kind of like a a rendering of the item you just picked up. I dig it. Yeah, apparently two new Silent Hill games in the works. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if if one is, um, or maybe even both, are remakes. Such a remake culture at the moment. Hello, Mr. Man, I don't like you. Gonna shoot you in the face. Fuck me. They can take a pound in. Um, don't like their noises. Uh, you, remakes recently have made kind of big bucks, like Resi 2 Remake, Resi 3 Remake is going to make huge bucks. Kind of Crash Bandicoot, Spyro. So I would I would not be opposed to a, uh, a Silent Hill Remake or 3. Every time I wake up, there are roaches in my mouth. Disgusting. Are they getting in? Are they coming out? Does it matter? Either way, it's disgusting. Clever little buggers pulling out my teeth, laying eggs under my tongue so I can't chew and spit. Every time I wake up, there are roaches in my mouth. Are they getting in? Are they coming out? I can't take it. Is that a poem? Doesn't matter. It's disgusting. This one's cool. This is very silent. I don't like this. Very Silent Hill. Hello. What we got here? I like reading the notes. What time is it? What day is it? It all just blends together after a while. I can't even tell dreams from reality anymore. No matter if I open or close my eyes, it's only this pitch black shroud around me. What's worse is the things I do here. I wish I didn't. There's crawling hands and feet all over the ceiling and they can't be all mine. They can't be, man. You've, you've only got a couple of, of each of those, so if they're all over the ceiling. That's, that's someone else. I freaking love this. The fuck is that? Oh my shit. Hello? Oh no. Ah, there's more. Hey, hey. 
<sighs> I love this one. This one's great. This might be my favourite. Oh, the sauna was so abstract. I think I really love it. What is happening in that room? Why is there a giant dead mouth face? Jesus. I'm going to find this hard to rank these. Tasty ramen was cute as well. That had so much charm. Pool shutter. Nice. Oh. Nice. Looks like some kind of sacred book. What language is that? I could not tell you, my friend. This is very cool. Indie developers. Serious, serious talent. And I think I'm starting to get to the point. Bear with me. Uh, thus spoke the slumbering prophet Gorgoran. It took a sick god to imagine a world this filthy. It took a vile god to shape a world this cruel. It takes a world this filthy to shelter us all in its putrid bo bosom. It takes a world this cruel to nurture us all into an existence of agony. Are these all po poems? They sound kind of rhymy. They've kind of got a rhythm to them. We are but mould on the rotting apple. We are but the shadows of madman's dance in the fire. The man is not doomed, but is destined to ruin. Man is not to purge, but to fester the world. Which innards reveal the path, bring forth the lice mother? I don't know what's happening. I appreciate the words. I'm starting to kind of have a feel, feel of resentment towards, not resentment towards, it's the wrong word, but feel kind of wrong saying indie developers because these people are just, they're just developers at this point. I think the only thing that makes them indie is they're probably not backed by, you know, a huge studio with all the money in the world or with big, big budget, but they're as much a developer as, you know, someone that sits and works for, for EA or Activision or, you know, any of the big boy companies. But they're just putting out talent, uh, and I'm glad they are. I'm glad things exist like, you know, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, uh, Itch.io. Oh, hello. Because it just gives a platform to these people to kind of show their talent. And I'm grateful for it. That's nice. Can I look at this? Ah, oh, there we go, inspect. Jesus, no doubt this is the guy. His gut is burst open and full of maggots, but the body shows no signs of rotting yet. Were they nesting inside of him? Probably, because you've just made that bold statement out of nowhere, so it probably means something. Oh, look at him. Filthy bastard. Am I going down here? Going in the hole? Don't like that bug. Can I shoot that? Yeah, fuck you, but ah, oh, there's lots of them. Don't really want to waste my ammo. <laughs> this is my favourite one so far. It's more conventional horror. But yeah, this is this is my favourite so far. This is this is fantastic. God, I could shoot all these eggs. I don't want to. Again, wasting bullets. I have not found another pack of ammo since that one pack that I found. Ah, you shit! I love the design of these. They're very Silent Hillish. They're kind of like a see-through skin, and you kind of... Ugh. They look like the really weird wobbly ones with no arms from Silent Hill. They like wobble under the cars. Ugh. Oh, okay. Block me in. Alright, can't go that way anymore. Been that way. Exit. You block the old iron door and take a moment to bask in the sun out of the reach of those creatures. Back at the station, you debrief your superior on everything you found. You don't even bother trying to sound trying not to sound crazy. After a moment of awakened God, I can't talk today. After a moment of awkward silence, he finally congratulates you for all the good work. He then suggests you take a couple day break. Oh, I've skipped a line. <laughs> something about something. The place went up in flames well before a team could be dispatched to check on your findings. It's all gone. Twelve bodies have been recovered so far, but police are hesitant to identify them as human. They're hard and hollow like man-shaped chitin shells. It's like beetles, isn't it? Chitin. Oh, I, I won. Thank you for playing. You're ending three. Pest control. 
Okay, I'm going to sum up there because that's three games. I said I'd only play three games uh, per video. I am going to cover all these because I really like what I've played today. I think if I played it and didn't enjoy this, uh, I probably wouldn't continue. But I've really enjoyed playing these three. They've all had something completely different. Uh, Tasty Ramen was super short, very simple stealth game. Uh, Sauna was... Sauna sure was something. <laughs> And, and Filth Breed was just kind of like a first person survival horror. Again, very short experience, but great atmosphere, great art style. All three of them looked completely different. Uh, all three of them suit and fit this kind of demo disc aesthetic. And all three of them gave me a massive nostalgia boost. Uh, they tugged on my heartstrings in terms of old school games that I used to play growing up. So it's done its job. I've had a great time playing these three. I'm going to come back and play some more. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. As I say, I'm not editing this, so there's mistakes in here. I've said the wrong words. I clicked past a sentence at the end there. Sorry about that. Um, but I'm just going to do these uncut and just show you them in their entire glory because each game is going to be very unique. So I kind of want to show you the entirety of each of these games on this demo disc. As I said at the start, you can download this. It's on Itch.io and it is free unless you choose to donate something to the creators to support their hard work. That's everything from me today. I'll see you soon for another one. Take care of yourselves, guys. See you later. Goodbye.